Alrighty, we got another unboxing. Uh, this is kind of fun to do because when we get these, it's nice to see what it does, what it looks like coming out of the box, how I came to the decision of actually choosing this particular product, and um, all that is involved with all of that. So this is the Milwaukee, and this is the 2311. Uh, again, my biggest, biggest, biggest complaint with Milwaukee is they have so much stuff. They almost pretty much have too much stuff. And it's very, very difficult to find exactly the product that I need because they have so many different variations of the same exact product. For example, this particular unit right here. I need an inspection camera and I like the Milwaukee Tool product, and I like their 12 volt line of products, and I know they're gonna stay in business for a long time, and I know they have a great product. So I want a Milwaukee camera, and I need to have the 9.5 millimeter or 3 8 inch uh, uh, camera line. Well, everything that I could find online was for the half inch or the 17 millimeter camera line. So I took me, it even says right here, for this camera 17 millimeter. It took me over an hour to be able to find what camera would incorporate with a nine and a half millimeter um, part and and the half inch both, and would do exactly everything that they needed to, to do, and then look up the part number for the nine and a half millimeter camera extension to be able to order everything that I need. Um, so if anybody at Milwaukee is listening. My goodness, just make the products all interchangeable because you have seven different cameras and the 9.5 millimeter only interacts with two of them. So I don't know how all that works. Um, but it says right here uh, that this will interact with the larger one and the smaller one. Now the larger one's gonna give you a whole lot better picture. It's gonna be a whole lot more rigid and it's gonna have more options like an extension and, and all that fun stuff. Um, so rather than just complaining and getting that out of the way, um, it would just be so much easier in Milwaukee if you would just make it easier to find your parts because they say that the 9.5 millimeter only interacts with the 2311-21 and the 2312-21. And so that's my biggest gripe for that. Um, we'll go ahead and show that right there. That's the part number right down there. Um, so let's open this thing up. Nice, sturdy, heavy duty case. I've already got. Um, all of the stuff that I need here. Now, this is the 9.5 millimeter or the 3.8 camera that I was talking about, the, the wire. And let's just show how big of a difference that is from their 17 millimeter half inch, just to give you a good idea. Um, this isn't gonna work for a lot of the lock projects and safe projects that I use this for. Uh, it's just too darn big. So this is why I had to have this, and this is why I was kind of being extremely picky about it. We can show these side to side like that too. Um, so here's what I ended up having to get. I ended up having to get this part number here, and that's gonna come with one three foot uh, cable here, and the camera, the half inch 17 millimeter one. I bought the three foot extension, and here's the part number for anybody that needs the three foot extension in case I wanted to be, to have a little longer room. So now I've got six feet of cable and that's 48-53-0141. That's gonna be a part number for the first three foot half inch or 17 millimeter extension, okay? The part I really needed was the 9.5 millimeter or 3 eighths cable adapter here. Okay, so this is part number 4853-0130. That's part number 48-53-1030. Okay, so that's the one to get the small cord. It's not gonna come, if you order this, it's not gonna come with the small cord. It's not going to. And here's where all their stuff gets so messed up and they get too many damn part numbers because they offer, it's a completely different part number if you want a charger, if you want it without batteries, if you want it with one battery, if you want it with two batteries. There's three different part numbers, or four, well, no, three different part numbers for the same camera. So that gets extremely irritating and, and I'm, I'm very, very frustrated with Milwaukee with that. Uh, but this model, you will get the charger. 
You will get the USB adapter, so you can USB adapt that to mini USB, and you will get one battery. One battery. The 21 on the end of this part number means one battery. I'm slowly starting to figure out how Milwaukee works. 20, if, it's, if the last number is 20, you get no batteries. If the last number is 21, you get one battery. If the last number is 22, you get two batteries. Um, so hopefully that will help you figure out what you need. And then, like I said, we get the charger here. I already have the 18 volt system. So uh, I've already got a 12 volt charger, but it's nice to have a separate one just for this. Um, so very nice, very well made, very heavy duty. Um, let me get the battery in, plug this thing in. It's gonna plug in like so. They also have a, a AA battery adapter for this, which is friggin' awesome. Uh, you're also, all your stuff is gonna be in here. Uh, it is gonna come with an SD card right out of the box. So you're gonna have a four gigabyte SD card right out of the gate. Um, so you'll be able to actually take pictures and you'll be able to video, and then there's your mini USB port right there. You can run this onto a computer and transfer your information into there and get a bigger screen too. So once we turn it on, we've got all the different functions. Um, light, we'll go ahead and show the light here. Brighty, bright, 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 that's bright. That's not so bright. Um, we can take a, if we come over here, we can zoom. And you can see the table here. And you can see how clear this thing actually picks stuff up. Pick, picks stuff up pretty well. Um, you know, it picks itself up too. Um, and the half inch one does a whole lot better at that. This one will change so we can rotate all the way around. And um, then we can take a picture, picture, and we can record. And as of right now, I'm recording. Uh, so all very, very cool stuff. Uh, you can play this back. Um, once I figured out what I wanted, awesome tool. This is gonna go in the field right now. Uh, I'm actually gonna go use this thing today. So I'm glad it came, I'm glad it showed up, and I'm glad I got everything I needed. Uh, set up like this, I think the camera was right above 300 something, and then I had to order the cord and the extra thing. I think it was right around 400, 450, somewhere right in there to get everything that you see here with all these different parts that we ordered. Um, just keep in mind how many batteries you need, how many if you need a charger and what size camera you need because this big giant snake of a camera is very very stiff very very rigid it'd be good for plumbing hvac stuff like that uh not good for automotive and safe and locksmith work so for more information check out the website below we'll do a review on this um six months a year or whatever and uh, we'll let you know how it works. Um, if anybody's thinking about, ooh, I just want to buy a cheapy camera from Harbor Freight, uh, I went through about five of these. Uh, luckily, I bought the warranty, so I didn't actually have to pay for it more than once. But if you get the cheapy uh, Syntec camera, it looks really cool, and it sounds really cool, and, uh, but um, you'll constantly be replacing it, and you will not have a camera when you need it because Every single time I would put out of the box, it worked fine, charge it up, take it out on a job site, two months later, it's dead, wouldn't, wouldn't show up, wouldn't light up, wouldn't charge up, wouldn't do anything. So, complete waste of money, don't bother. Uh, go ahead and get yourself a good quality product. So, for more information, check out the website below.